morning to all. Today let's consider a problem. Determine the nature of the states of the Markov chain. This is our problem. Okay. First we have to consider state 1. We have F11 star is equal to F111 plus F112 plus F113 plus etc. What is F111 starts from 1 reaches 1 in 1 step? That is 0. What about F112 starts from 1 reaches 1 for the first time in 2 steps? What about the that is F12 then F21 is possible. F12 F21 possible. That is 1. Then what about F113 starts from 1 reaches 1 for the first time in 3 step. That's probability is 0. So F11 star is equal to 1. That is the state 1 is persistent. That means FJJ star is equal to 1. What do you mean by persistent? It is sure that the system will return to the state J if it has started from J. Okay. That is the state 1 is persistent. Next you consider the state 2. What about F221 starts from 2 reaches 2 for the first time in one step? Is it possible? Start from 2 reaches 2 for the first time in one step is not possible. That's probability 0. Then what about F222? F22 that is F21 possible. F21 possible then F 2, 1 possible, then F, 1, 2 possible. That is 1 into 1, that is equal to probability is 1, other probabilities are 0, that is equal to 1. That means state 2 is persistent. Persistent means F, J, J star, that is F, 2, 2 star equal to 1. Then what about 3, state 3? In state 3, start from 3, reaches 3 for the first time in one step. That is 1 by 4. Now the possibilities are 0. So that is equal to 1 by 4 which is less than 1. So state 3 is transient. That means FJJ star less than 1. Here we have state 1 is persistent. State 2 is persistent. State 3 is transient. Uh, consider the state 4. F44 star is equal to F441 plus F442 plus etc. Then F441. 441 is possible. That is 1 by 4 plus F442. F45. F4, 5 possible into F5, 4. So in 2 step, 4 to 4 in 2 step that is 4 to 5 and 5 to 4. That is 3 by 4. 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 1. Therefore the state 4 is persistent. Then what about state 5? F5, 5, 5, 1. 5, 5, 1, 0. F5, 5, 5, 2. 5, 5, 2, 5, 2, 4 and 4, 2, 5. That is 1 into 3 by 4. Plus. Then what about F, 5, 5, 3? 5, 2, 4, 4, 2, 4. Then 5, 2, 4, 2, 5. Possible. That is 1 into 1 by 4 into 3 by 4. Plus. In. Next one. 1 into 1 by 4 into, again 1 by 4 into, 3 by 4, etc. Possible. So that is equal to 1. So state 5 is persistent. Clear? Then consider this figure also. From this figure it is clear that 
1 to 2 possible and 2 to 1 possible and 3 to 1 possible. 3 to 3 possible, 3 to 4 possible, 4 to 4 possible, then 5 to 4 and 4 to 5 possible. Okay. Now let's consider the period of the state. We have the definition if D is a period of state I then D is equal to greatest common divisor of N greater than or equal to 1 P I I N greater than 0 or G C D of N greater than or equal to 1 F I I N greater than 0. And it, it is clear that F 1 1 1 equal to 0 F112 is possible and F113 equal to 0. So we have GCD of n greater than or equal to 1. F11 n greater than 0 is 2. That is 1 to 2, 2 to 1. From 1 to starts from 1 reaches 1 in one step is not possible. But starts from 1 reaches 1 in 2 step possible. So, GCD of 2 that is equal to 2. Similarly, in the case of uh, 2, the periodicity is 2. Clear? Now, consider the state 4. In state 4, start from 4, reaches 4 in one step possible. Start from 4, can reach 5, then to 4. That is in 2 step, 2 step Possible, uh, it starts from 4, 4 to 4, then 4 to 5, then 4, 5 to 4. That is in 3 steps possible, that is GCD of 1, 2, 3, etc. That is equal to 1. That means a periodic. Then, next one, state 5. It's also F5. 5 to 5 in one step is not possible. But 5 to 5 in 2 step possible. 5 to 5 in 3 step. That is 5 to 4 then 4 to 4 then 4 to 5. That is possible. So GCD of 2, 3, 4 etc. That is equal to 1. That means state is a periodic. That is the given Markov chain is reducible. That is 1 to 2, then 2 to 1 possible, then 4, 5 and 3. These are the classes. In the previous class we have considered reducible and irreducible, closed sets etc. From this it is clear that C1 and C2 are closed sets also. Then what about the mean recurrence time for the persistent states? From this it is clear that we have states 1, 2, 4 and 5 are recurrent states. So the mean recurrence time mu j that is equal to sigma n, n equal to 1 to infinity n into f j j n that is Mu 1 1 equal to 1 into F 1 1 1 plus 2 into F 1 1 2 plus etc. That value is equal to 2 which is finite. Similarly, mu 2 2 is also finite. Mu 4 4 is also finite and mu 5 5 is also finite. Then, from this it is clear that state 4 and 5 we have already considered that one persistent states. Here also mu j's are less than infinity. That means it is non-null. And for state 4 and 5, the periodicity P, D is equal to 1. That means a periodic, a persistent, non-null, a periodic state is called ergodic state. Clear? Then consider state 1 and 2. We have 1 and 2 are persistent. From the previous page. 
then we have already considered here it is non null also but it is periodic state 1 and 2 are persistent non null and periodic with the period 2 and what about the state 3 state 3 is transient clear in state 3 we have fjj star less than 1 clear that is our given marco chain is reducible and the state can uh, state space can be decomposed into three classes c1 c2 and c3 here c1 and c2 are closed sets and the state 2 4 5 are persistent non null aperiodic persistent means fjj star equal to 1 and non null means mu j mean recurrence time mu j is finite and a periodic periodicity 1 d equal to 1 so they are ergodic a persistent non null a periodic state is known as ergodic state then state 1 and 2 are persistent non null but they are periodic the period period is periodic with the period 2 and state 3 is transient i think you understood the concepts of persistent state transient state periodic state a periodic state non null state and ergodic state thank you